Before we leave Top Shelf Aquatics and head on over to the Reef Builders studio, so they had me open the lid. I would be lying if I told you that I wasn't just a tad bit nervous. I delivered the frags and out of the gate, we took measurements. Builders, my name is Remy, and today we're going to go through the Top Shelf Aquatics Grow Out Frags, and we're going to transport those from Orlando to the Reef Builders studio, and we're going to go through a TSA checkpoint along the way. But before we get to it, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know whenever we post new videos. Have you ever flown with corals or fish? Was it smooth sailing or did you hit some snags along the way? Leave a comment down below. With Reefstock Chattanooga just around the corner, I wanted to share this video now so that if you did purchase some coral or fish through vendors at Reefstock, then you could take it home on the plane instead of having to ship it back to yourself. There isn't a ton of information about this on YouTube. There's a couple of videos here and there, but I figured I'd take you through my firsthand experience. This is my first time flying with coral through a TSA checkpoint, and we have to transport these Top Shelf Aquatics Grow Out frags anyway, so we might as well go through the process together. Let's start our journey back at the Top Shelf Aquatics farm in Winter Park, Florida. Okay, so before we leave Top Shelf Aquatics and head on over to the Reef Builders studio, we couldn't leave here with nothing. So Top Shelf Aquatics is doing an old school grow out contest for the next six months. They're gonna give some influencers corals to grow out, see who can get the best growth out of these Acropora. So Kevin's here. Do you wanna take us through what these uh, frags are that are gonna be in the contest? Uh, yeah, so we had decided to do a series of six acropores. So I've laid out your pieces here. What we did is we went ahead and cut sets of these all similar sized. Uh, so it'll be fair for the contest and everyone involved. Uh, a lot of our favorites here that are, that are good growers, nice colorful pieces. And we're just super enthused, uh, enthused to see what you guys can do with these things. And um, you know, the different types of tanks and how fast they grow and, and the differences on how they end up turning out. So yeah. there's some prime pieces here. I mean, we have our fruity splice, which is a, a grafted one. And um, we have the Long Island, another real pretty piece there. It gets real nice polyp extension, uh, orange polyps, things like that. The Harvey Wallbanger uh, as the third piece, sort of like a strawberry shortcake, but it gets a little more orange hues to it. Okay. And then we have the Four Loco next to that, that one, real fuzzy piece, uh, nice rainbow coloration, a uh, real pretty growth structure. And the next one down we have is the orange sickle, which is a kind of a stag type piece that grows sort of like a paletta pink tip, but gets nice orangish hues with purple tips. And then last but not least is the raspberry splice, which is another grafted piece. And I had kind of staged those ones in a way where you can see the two different sections of the colony during the growth context actually merge together and develop more of the swirling. So it'll be interesting to see how things come along and, and how they end up looking in the end for everyone's tanks. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to see these things grow out. I, the more interesting part of this video is going to be me taking these corals through TSA for the very first time. I've never done this. You can do it. And with a lot of these shows that we've got all over the country, if you wanted to travel to Aquashella in Dallas, and you wanted to transport some of your, your corals through TSA, it's possible. So we're gonna show you how to do that. But let's go ahead and get these guys all ready to go. So we packed up everything into a box and we were on our way. I'm gonna tell you right now, these come in handy. Uh, I got these from PNW Customs. So this is a watertight plastic tub. On, on the inside, this is what PNW manufactures. It's these coral frag holders that are easily pulled out with this acrylic rod. This is meant for seven frags. You can get smaller ones and you can get larger ones. Here's another one, this is a four shot. Got that. They also make inserts for these Rubbermaids as well. So you can hold a ton of frags in this one and not a whole lot of water either. So this doesn't take up too much room. These kinds of containers make it super easy when you're going through a TSA checkpoint just because 
they're gonna have you present the water to them in most cases unless it's fish and it's in a bag they might not have to test the water and honestly every agent is different so your process may be a little bit different than mine so this is directly from tsa this is on their website it says live corals in water and a clear transparent container are allowed after inspection by the tsa officer now this just applies to domestic flights only first and foremost you want to hand off your coral or your fish to a tsa agent before the x-ray more than likely they're still going to want the box or whatever container you had going through the x-ray but without the coral or the fish in it so they had me open the lid they swabbed the outside of the container they took some tests of the water and then they had me put the lid back on it passed and honestly this was super easy it's definitely going to tack on some minutes as you're going through a security checkpoint so just make sure you factor that in as you're arriving to the airport. You will need to pay attention to the amount of personal items that the airline that you're flying allows. Like for Southwest, they allow you two personal items. So for me, it was my backpack and then that box of coral that I had. As per the TSA website, coral cannot be in your checked bag. Fun fact, and I know this will vary from agent to agent, but my agent was very familiar with coral as SeaWorld is always taking coral in and out of TSA checkpoints in Orlando. So they knew exactly what they were doing here. I know this can be nerve wracking. I would be lying if I told you that I wasn't just a tad bit nervous. As long as you follow the rules, you should be good to go. Time to take these to the Reef Builder Studio, hand these off to Jack and get them in the Red Sea Peninsula. I delivered the frags and out of the gate, we took measurements because this is a grow out contest. So we wanna make sure that we've got accurate measurements for the start of the contest. The technique that Jack is using to mount the Acropora is pretty interesting and I can't wait to see if it works. My strategy here is every time it encrusts a tier, uh, we should get a bunch of like axial coralites that grow on like the outside rim. And then it should continue encrusting down and then yeah, and all of those axial coralites that develop should grow into branches. And that's what the refiller strategy is gonna be. Give it a really good base, just like Jake would. So since these will be housed at the Reef Builder studio and I'm in St. Louis and Jack is in Denver, this is all gonna be Jack. I think we need to change this photo. There, that's better. I'm excited to see these frags grow out and I am a competitive person, but in all honesty, I just want to make sure that they're happy and healthy and they're good to go and they're growing. I hope this video helped if you're planning on flying with fish or coral here in the near future. And yes, there's always an option for the most part, for a local fish store to just ship you the coral from whatever venue you're at. The only thing is, is you know, when you start to buy from multiple vendors, then it can get a little bit tricky. So the easy part is if you're flying in, grab one of these containers from PNW or whoever makes them and uh, you'll be good to go. It meets all the requirements. It'll keep your frags in place. And this should fit in most bags if you don't wanna carry a box all around the airport like I did. I'll keep you posted on these grow out frags as they go, but in the meantime, make sure to book your trip to Reefstock Chattanooga. It's coming up really, really quick. You can use your newfound knowledge to take some corals and some fish back home with you. You can find all the ticket information and the hotel information at reefstock.show. Oh, and we're looking for some guests to help us out with a live reef therapy at Reefstock Chattanooga. If you've got an awesome tank or if you just wanna participate, let us know in the comments section below. You may notice some things changing in the background as I build out the Red Sea 625, a little bit of aquascape going in, and there is Carib Sea boxes here in the background because we're gonna fill out this entire 625 with an awesome aquascape, and that should be in the next couple videos. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know whenever we post new videos, and I'll see you in the next one.